Mankind has always wanted to challenge the sea, first with boats made of natural materials such as wood, iron, hemp, and then, thanks to chemistry, we moved on to more modern materials such as fiberglass or carbon fiber composites. And, thanks to physics, the heat engine has been replaced with the sails or the arms of the rowers. So nowadays, new boats require less and less power because they are lighter, but that does not make them environmentally friendly because consuming less fuel doesn't mean doing something good for the planet. We really should not consume any fuel at all. Although sailboats, when sailing with the wind, do not consume any fuel, are we sure that production and disposal of sails is not a polluting process? And another big problem is the disposal of hulls, which to this day, unfortunately, are still being burned, sunk or buried. So has progress wiped out the possibility of having a boat that is completely sustainable? No, it hasn't. In fact, today I'm here in Marina di Monfalcone in northern East Italy to discover with you a decidedly virtuous, eco-friendly triptych, an eco-sustainable hull powered by recyclable sails and a small electric outboard. This is the future. Welcome to The Boat Show. Let's get to know this boat right away. This is Eco Racer 25, a racing hull designed by Matteo Poli in Northern Light Composites, a startup founded in 2019 by Pia Nicola Paletti, Fabio Biglanini, and Andrea Padano. In their own way, they are three young visionaries, and now I'll explain why. The hull is 7.69 meters long with a maximum beam of 2.8 meters. It displaces 1,100 kilograms and has a sail area that goes from 42 to 100 square meters. So far, everything is normal. But hear this out. It is the first boat in the world to be made of flax and basalt fiber, infused in a thermoplastic resin that, unlike other thermosetting resins, at the end of the hull's life cycle grants more options. The first one is more complex and therefore more difficult to industrialize on a large scale. Thanks to a series of steps patented by Northern Light Composites, the hull components, such as natural fibers and resin, can be split and subsequently reused for the construction of a new hull. This is something amazing. The second option, on the other hand, is that the hull, or why not its mold, is shredded. And thanks to the thermoplastic nature of the resin, a second raw material is created, essentially virgin plastic, ready for a new life as recycled plastic, which is also great as a 3D printing material. I know, I know. Now you'll be skeptical about two aspects, the cost and the performance. Also, because if these two matters weren't a problem, someone would have already invented it beforehand. But no, because these composites have the same structural capacity of the materials we already know very well, and the weight is the same as that of fiberglass. It is such an ambitious project that it could not stop to a mere hull. This is where the company One Sails comes into play, because if a sailboat has to be eco-sustainable, the sails are no exception either. This technology is called Forte Forte, and it is painted by One Sails. Mainly, it is based on the same concept of what I have just explained to you about the hull. The material that constrains the laminate is thermoplastic, and at the end of its life, thanks to an industrial recycling process, it is reduced into granules of plastic second raw material. Then it can become another part of a new sail, such as a mainsail headboard or a handle, or even this, a marker. And you might ask, what does a marker have to do with sailing? Nothing really, but that is the difference between reuse and recycling. This sail can become raw material to create any other plastic object, but before we turn it into something else, let's enjoy it. The union between One Sails and Eco Racer is truly wonderful because the boat at the helm turns out to be a very performing dinghy. Today, I really want to dispel a myth, which is that often eco-sustainability equals a lack of performance, or on the economical point of view. Well, as you've seen so far, this is not the case. 
di Bolina la barca si affonda. Navigating closed hauled, the boat leans on one side and stays there. It manages to keep a precise and punctual course. It's wonderful. Just think that today, here in Marina di Monfalcone, there is a strong wind around 10 knots and upwind we arrived at 7.2 knots. I'd say a great result. But now let's see it under speed. Under speed, things don't change because it's still a very enjoyable boat. The feeling at the helm is wonderful. I'm convinced that this boat can become the perfect boat for a large class, in the name of love for sailing, of course, and for a real environmental awareness. Allora, sto timonando una barca ecosostenibile con vele riciclabili. So I'm steering an eco-friendly boat with recyclable sails. What could be more ecological than this? The icing on the cake would be to be able, in addition to using the power of the wind, to store some of this clean energy. And you know what? I'm doing it. This is truly a gem of this project. It is called Spirit 1.0 Evo by ePropulsion. It's an electronic outboard engine with some very peculiar features. It's very easy to manage. It weighs just a little more than 11 kilos, and it is completely eco-friendly because it doesn't require hydrocarbons nor mechanical lubrication. In fact, there's no oil or grease, and therefore it does not get dirty. Plus, it maintains the advantages of a classic outboard. It can be fixed on the bracket with a delocalized throttle or with the classic tiller arm. Plus, there is another gem. This is not a smartwatch, but it is a wireless kill cord. If I fell into the water, the engine would turn off. Can you hear anything? No, of course not, because it has the direct drive propulsion, meaning the engine stays underwater directly attached to the propeller, so the only thing we hear is the sound of the sea. This is a 48 volt integrated battery which is watertight and floats just in case it falls into the water. However, by connecting it to an outboard battery pack, it can have an autonomy of more than nine hours. Is it suitable for long navigations? No, also because its power is three horsepower, one kilowatt and limited autonomy, although there are some ways of extending it. Firstly, there is the one I was telling you about before that is hydro generation, meaning while sailing, if the battery is below 90%, the propeller recharges it autonomously, up to 330 watts at 10 knots and 100 watts at 6 knots. And then at anchor or at the dock, you can use solar panels to avoid the charging column, which, if by chance supplied energy produced from non-renewable sources, it will be equivalent as relocating pollution. Let me explain it better. If I burn coal somewhere far off, to then use it to recharge a battery that is located here and that one day I will also have to dispose of, well, I'm not really helping the environment. Although the efficiency of the electric engine at equal energy compared to the heat one is definitely higher. So we can say that where it is possible, going electric is always the better solution. How much does it cost to be environmentally friendly towards the planet? So EcoRacer is worth around 80,000 euros. And at the end of its life cycle, just like its sales, it maintains this same value because it can be resold as a secondary raw material and yield an income. Basically, not be a cost or a problem as some are nowadays. The engine with this configuration is worth just under 2,500 euros and its battery can be recharged more than 800 times. So from the very beginning, we've seen that boating was eco-sustainable and today, thanks to them, it can go back to being so.